What's up you guys? I am so, so excited that the news is finally out. We are having another baby. I'm pregnant. Baby number two is on its way. I am 11 weeks and a few days today. I actually have my appointment my like 11 12 week appointment today but i just wanted to upload this vlog for you it is a bunch of clips i took over the past couple weeks um just like the very initial ultrasound and getting my blood drawn and just like a few little fun things that i've recorded and after this vlog i actually have two vlogs that i meant to put up before we announced the pregnancy but like I just couldn't wait and so we just like sent it and uploaded the pregnancy announcement and like made it public. So there will be two vlogs coming after this one that you might be like, what the heck, why is she going back in time and not talking about the baby? Um, that's because they were pre-recorded before I like decided I was going to let the news out. We decided to announce right now because Banner is actually gone for the next month so we wanted to announce while he was still here and we could like enjoy the moment of like telling the world together so that's kind of a little backstory but I hope you guys enjoy these next couple of clips and I just want to say thank you guys so so much for all your sweet loving comments and support towards baby number two we are so so excited we'll be vlogging today for my appointment to hear the heartbeat so stay tuned for that as well. We had Reagan's nine month appointment today. I'm sure you've already seen that vlog, but as well as her nine month appointment, we did mommy's pregnancy test at the lab, didn't we? We're gonna get the call back later today say oh, Reagan's gonna have a sibling. Yeah, that's what they're gonna say. Yay. But I totally walked in thinking it was the same way that it was when I was pregnant with her. And you could just walk into the lab and say, hey, I need a pregnancy test. But this time, you had to get it ordered from your primary care. And I was like, I kind of said a little comment. I was like, well, that's really, like, that's complicated. Because the lady didn't help me, like, on how to do that. And then the guy in the next reception desk was like, well, you can actually, like, go down there. And they can help you get it ordered right now since you're here. I was like, thank you. Like, that is the kind of, like, resources and response I need. Not just... Yeah, that's what you have to do. Okay, bye. Get out of my way. But we got it. Luckily, the lady at the clinic was able to talk to a nurse and got it ordered. And we took it. And now we're back. All within like an hour. So, big morning. We're going to call later today get the confirmation. I'm five weeks and a few days today. I think they do the first checkup at six weeks. So, hopefully I'll get an appointment next week. And we'll get to see a little baby. Yeah. See the heartbeat? Can I give you an interview? Is that what you say? Can I give you an interview? Can I interview you on how you feel? So, you're nine months old, correct? You just turned nine months old like last week? Okay. And how do you feel that you're gonna be a big sister? Oh, you're excited? That's how you feel? You're doing a happy dance? Okay, and now you're concentrated on your tag. Oh, do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl? Do you want a little sister or a little brother? Okay, so you're happy with either one. Yeah, so you just want to boss him around. You know, I can understand. I, I can relate to that. <laughs> okay, I just had my, like, over-the-phone OB appointment. It was just a like intake one so before covid i think this is just a covid thing or honestly they probably should do this normally because it does save like appointment time um but they just took my information and then i'm gonna get a call later today to schedule my first ultrasound to see like how big baby's measuring get like an exact due date right now they said my due date is november 8th which is crazy which is so crazy because this pregnancy we will be moving in the middle of and i'm only slightly anxious about that but a little november baby is so exciting and thankfully we won't be in colorado because that's like freezing time but wherever we move 
we'll have warmer weather, which is a big plus. So I don't have to get like 5,000 parkas for this baby. Let's see, hi guys. Hi guys. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. This morning is my first ultrasound for baby number two. It's so funny, the contrast of me <laughs> right now versus when I went and did this with Reagan. I was like all ready, my hair was down, I had makeup on, and for this one, I am like a hot mess. I have these eye patches on because I wanted to see my first time ever using them, but I wanted to see if it would help the puffiness and like my dark circles. Just like the last time though, I am, I am, I'm sorry. I am obviously nervous because this is like what they call the viability and dating ultrasound. So to see if there's a heartbeat and all that. So it's gonna be a little nerve wracking. Here, you go right there. Banner can't go with me this morning. He's taking a test right now for something. That sounds like he's in school. <laughs> he's taking a test, but I'm gonna take these off because I think it's been, it's been <laughs> Did it do anything? No. <laughs> I still have major bags under my eyes. But Banner's sister's coming to watch Reagan this morning while I go. It should only be like a quick appointment. I'm excited. I'm gonna see your sibling. I am. Yeah. <laughs> you are a daredevil. As you can see, she has her legs. She had her legs sprawled out. All right, you guys. I'm leaving my doctor's appointment, my ultrasound, and uh, it went well. I don't know why I was so nervous for this one I think probably just knowing like the love I have for Reagan just like makes it even more emotional and stressful but everything is good I'm so excited I've got to see the little heartbeat flutter but we're looking at a due date of early November so if this baby is anything like Reagan it could even be like um, last week in October kind of I think I don't know probably not they said a due date of like the 8th or the 10th they said the 10th but like period wise it's the 8th so anytime then I got home and I realized I didn't show you guys the little ultrasound picture I mean it's just a little like blob in there but that's my little blob my little blob with a heartbeat I'm gonna be Reagan's sibling oh my goodness this says I'm seven weeks two days which on my account I thought I was seven weeks four days so it's like two days off but I picked up Starbucks I got a banner drink for when he comes back home to celebrate it's a coffee and a baby! Yay! <laughs> in there? It's in there! I had the heartbeat and everything! Yes. There's our living child out in the world! Right, yeah, it's new! It's fresh! Little baby! I'm oh, super happy! Me too! How was it? Good. It's probably like not one that you would want to go to anyway. Look at it, it's just a little nugget, just like Reagan. She's really sad you're not getting her. Oh, sorry. Do you know why you're coffee? I do. I was gonna ask you to make it. Are you excited? Look at that little nugget. Look at that. Look. That's your brother or sister. Oh. You excited? You can, can't ex just can't explain it. Just throw your arms in there. Was it cool? Was it like? Is <laughs> she not like the biggest joy? You're such a joy. I'm just sitting here with Reagan. She's having some lunch. Yeah, she's chowing down. But 
For one, I feel like very gross right now, which I have felt really good the past two or three weeks, but I just feel gross again today. And I could have sworn that I just felt the baby move, but like it's still, I'm like what, almost 11 weeks? That doesn't seem like that's even possible. Maybe it's just like phantom movements because like I've been pregnant, so I think I know what it feels like. I don't know, but it was wild. It was so wild. But yeah, I had morning sickness like the first couple weeks of pregnancy and then the past two weeks I felt a lot better. Then today I just feel so, so gross. But I'm not as nauseous, I just feel I mean, kind of sick to my stomach, but not as nauseous as I felt, and then I have a headache. So it could just be my water intake and being back at a higher elevation, but. Ugh. Let's take a nap. Can we go take a nap? Hello, you guys. I am about to go get my blood drawn, and I'm 11 weeks today, and they told me to get my blood drawn when I went at like six weeks. They're like, yeah, after this appointment, go get it taken, and I'm like, that's really funny because I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I've been feeling like super nauseous those first couple weeks of pregnancy, so I was terrified to go get my blood drawn because when I got it drawn with Reagan, that was the first time I'd ever gotten it drawn, and I got super, super like hot and anxious, and it was just like not a good situation. I felt like I was gonna pass out after, so I was like, I can't go and already be nauseous before I get my blood drawn. So I've waited till the very last second because my like 12 week appointment is tomorrow. So I'm really hoping that it like gets processed in time for that. I don't know what would happen if it didn't. They're probably gonna be like, shame on you. And I'm gonna be like, you know, I did what was best for me. Um, but I'm also like still just anxious because getting my blood drawn makes me nervous. Um, yeah, it's not like the needle. I think it's just the like feeling after. I don't know. I brought a protein bar and some water this time and hopefully that'll help me to have like right after. And then last time I was like wearing a really puffy jacket and it was really cold outside. So I was like trying to be bundled and then I got in there and I was like, <gasps> oh my gosh, and I was in the back corner. But this time, lightweight, the sun's out still nervous that's why I'm talking a lot and telling really unimportant stories but I'm gonna head over there and I'll keep you guys posted I made it through got my little ow that's stuck to my arm here ow actually that hurts <laughs> you can take it off now yeah I probably can but it was not as bad as the first time it was so quick there was like two times where I could feel like the flow of the blood coming out. That was kind of gross, but the lady was super nice, super quick. Got it done really easily and now I'm good to go. So that was put off for a really long time for no reason, but like actually a reason because I don't feel nauseous. So eating and having water was definitely helpful got that knocked out and then tomorrow is the appointment where I get to hear baby's heartbeat I'm so excited I got to see the heartbeat at the initial ultrasound but this time I get to hear it so it's gonna be great I'm sad that Banner's not gonna be able to hear it but I'm gonna try to record a little clip so that he can hear it and I can send it to him mm -hmm. 